Churchill Archive Centre were really happy to host the exhibition Art in Art, Symbolic Reproduction by Gina Glover. We installed the exhibition with the artist in early 2020 in preparation for the planned symposium on the archive of Robert Edwards. Unfortunately, due to coronavirus restrictions, the symposium was postponed and the exhibition was not seen by as many people as we had hoped. And so we created this film of the exhibition. Gina Glover originally created these artworks for the Reproductivities Exhibition at Murray Edwards College in 2018, which was part of the Life in Glass project led by Professor Sarah Franklin and Dr Lucy van de Weyl of the Reproductive Sociology Research Group at the University of Cambridge and also supported by the Wellcome Foundation. This exhibition is inspired by the photographic archive of scientist and IVF pioneer Robert Edwards which Glover had access to before it was deposited at the Churchill Archive Centre as part of the Edwards Archive. Given the close link between the Edwards Archive and Glover's work, it was natural that the Archive Centre should display these works to coincide with the symposium on the Edwards Archive. For the first series of images, titled Chemical Reproduction, Glover experimented with the early cyanotype photographic printing process drawing upon Edwards's black and white photographic prints. A cyanotype is created using a photographic printing process invented by Victorian scientist Sir John Herschel, which produces a cyan blue print. The process remained commercially available well into the 20th century, usually as a low cost technique for the reproduction of drawings, conventionally referred to as blueprints. Gina Glover has imparted an additional aesthetic dimension to Edward's original black and white photographs. When making these cyanotypes, she used an IVF proprietary chemical solution, otherwise used to maintain and protect the viability of gametes and embryos within a Petri dish. This solution was provided by Bornhall, the world's first fertility clinic, which was, in Edward's time, the location for his research on assisted biological reproduction. Edward's original black and white photographs were scanned, digitally inverted and enlarged to produce digital negatives. These were then placed onto watercolour paper which had been treated with a solution of ferric ammonium citrate, potassium ferricyanide and the IVF proprietary chemical solution and then exposed to sunlight to produce cyan blue prints. These cyanotypes were digitally rescanned and outputted as digital pigment prints. In doing so, Glover's intention was to mirror laboratory processes for human reproduction by a metaphorical process of artistic reproduction. The light-hearted title of the second series, The Art of Bob, Art Being Assisted Reproduction Technology, underplays the enormous scientific importance of Edwards' colour slides from his scientific collection, now held as part of the Edwards Archive at Churchill Archive Centre. Edwards not only pioneered reproductive and in vitro medicine, but was also a leader of the team which produced the first successful birth of an IVF baby, Louise Brown, in 1978. Gina Glover selected Edwards' slides not only for their technical content, each linked to processes of embryo development, but also for the visual impact of the iconic markings on the slide mounts made with pen, crayon and pencil. Retaining these markings, Glover has amended the original images to highlight their expressive and aesthetic qualities through reinterpretation. For this series of works, Glover's images were printed onto transparencies, which were then mounted onto light boxes referencing the original format. The third series, titled Papifere Somniferum Seed Investigations, is a series of photograms which are images made directly onto light-sensitive paper. Using Papifere Somniferum or poppy seeds, IVF laboratory instruments and artefacts provided by the IVF Embryology Clinic at Bourne Hall. These pictures originated as black and white photograms and were then scanned, resized and printed as archival pigment prints. In the final series of the exhibition, Instruments of Life, Gina Glover aims to present laboratory equipment in a new light. The original photographs, produced within the Bourne Hall Embryology Clinic, 
were shot by her under tungsten lighting, resulting in a flat and overly warm image. Glover subsequently inverted these images, which changed the colour tone to blue. In this way, she has provided the viewer with a new visual experience, her idea being that this transformation helps highlight the extraordinary scientific and life-giving properties of laboratory artefacts.